What's up guys? Well today we're out working on my truck today, 2006 Chevy Silverado. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading and replacing these old textured black door handles with these. These are the new color matched Escalade style door handles that I actually bought on eBay surprisingly for only $37 They came in a set of all four for my truck, which mine's a crew cab But however, they did not come painted red when I got it I actually got these the the back parts were black, but it still had this actual chrome piece right in the center and I actually took these handles to a body shop and they and they and they were nice enough to paint these red to match my truck but unfortunately it was not cheap I mean it cost me about two hundred dollars to get all four of these painted but they did a excellent job the reason why I took this much is they had to actually take off the handle portion just to get behind the frame and everything to get it all painted as you can see they painted inside there a little bit of overspray on the back but no one's gonna see that but uh, these handles look very fantastic i'm sure they'll look even better once they're on the truck so without further ado let's go ahead and get to it all right, guys, while I was away, I go ahead and I went ahead, excuse me, and did the rear door, door handles. It was not that hard to get the door panel off. What you have to do is pop off this little lock right here. Yeah, I kind of cut myself right here. I try to get one of the, the hidden screws in the back for the door handle. Also, you also have to pop this off and pop this portion of the of the handle off and then remove two, two two bolts one right down there one right down there and you can see right here it gives you the size let me see if my damn camera will focus I believe they are a 1 16th but anyway Ow. Well, I think I just found my lost 10 millimeter nut. Yep, there it is. Can't believe I lost this thing in the first place. Well, but anyway, yeah, I just removed those two nuts slide up the door panel you will have to disconnect the harness to the window and there's no way to remove this it's actually stuck in there pretty good this is for anyone who has an 03 to to 06 or 07 classic truck now for anyone who has the 99 to 2002 won't have this issue because the whole switch panel can come right off i really wish chevy stuck with that but you got to work with what you got so had to remove the harness and now I'm gonna cut away and do the front door panels, or excuse me, the front doors. All right, now that I have pretty much gotten the whole, almost every door handle of the truck put on, the only thing left for me to do now is the driver's side. Now I'm gonna walk you step by step on how to do this. There are a bunch of other videos on how to do the rear. In fact, I'll go and go over some of my routines I did. Sorry, I didn't get the footage on camera, but basically there's two bolts. One's underneath the armrest and one down here. You simply just pull off this section, this portion of the door handle and also the little lock right here and your door handle will slide right off. You just unclip the window harness and then reach up and find the 10 millimeter bolts that hold on the door handle. Now, on the passenger side, is a little bit more of a process to get these guys off. 
basically what you have to do is obviously remove the bolts. One right here. There's actually a Torx bit right inside there. You have to remove this little plastic clip right here. And also another nut right down here. Then simply remove the handle bezel and the lock and the lock indicator. Unclip the white harness, pull off the door handle, and then unclip your window harness and reach for the handle back here. Now, one of the 10 millimeter bolts is gonna be hard to get to because you have to reach, reach underneath the, uh, the, the window actuator. But for those of you, if you have hands smaller than mine, you will probably have a much better time attempting to reach that with your, with your socket. But anyway, I'll go ahead and walk to you step by step on how to do the driver's side. Now transferring over this door handle is going to be a little bit difficult because I have to replace the, the uh, door lock cylinder right here because my truck recently was broken into. Some jackass took a, took a pardon my French, but took a flathead screwdriver to this and proceeded to get into my truck, steal my brand new floor jack. So that's $82 I'm not getting back, which was actually sitting in the back seat, which for those of you who live in a bad neighborhood, never leave your stuff visible in the back seat. But anyway, that's why I'm gonna have to replace it with a brand new lock cylinder. I'm not gonna take the time to get the tumblers to match the key for my ignition. I'm gonna go old school, one key to open the door and one key to start the truck. However, I won't need a key to unlock this because I've got key fobs. But anyway, without further ado and enough me blabbering on, let's go ahead and take off this door panel. All right, as we put this guy in, this is a 930 seconds bit to remove the pins that hold on your well, this part of your door panel. This is one of several. You just keep turning this until it eventually comes free. And of course, what everyone likes, what every redneck likes to do, whenever he if you think it's loose enough, you can simply remove the rest of it by hand. And then, eventually, she'll just pop right loose. I'm going to set them down on the floorboard. Now, to remove your, your lock cover, it's simply, decide to do it on, you simply pry on the back and she eventually comes free and you don't have to do that to your door handle your interior door handle just simply do that and fit it around slide it to the side and then out that comes and up here is another 1130 seconds bolt that you're going to want to take that out too. Now be careful with this one. You don't want to actually have it fall out into the door panel. Oh, ants. So anyway, that's out. And then what else you're gonna to wanna to do is, is pry this weird looking clip out. This is not original. In fact, this is really broken to hell. And then you will also have to take out a Torx bit, which normally should sit right there, but for whatever reason, I've got it on the passenger side, but the driver's side apparently went missing. So, I don't have to worry about that for now. 
and now we're gonna move the remove the last 11 30 seconds bit right here I'm getting impatient so now I'm doing this by hand see that just separated and once that's out also going to one two yeah get your little plastic tool your trim tool pry out the little light for your marker light well apparently I just pulled that out all together just for the sake of this video let's go ahead and disconnect a little bulb that will be going back in later put the lens so we don't lose it and eventually your whole door panel after you unhook this clip for the window. Come on. It will eventually just pull right off. Now, the only thing you have to do fish with a lot of wires. Okay, you know what? I'm just thinking for the sake here, I'm just gonna lean this to the side. You won't need this to get to your your little bolts for your handle. See there is going to be one right in here. Oops, do not lose this. fish out most of my sockets for safety I'm for better safe than sorry purposes I'm using a deep 10 millimeter socket but I don't know if this is gonna fit in there Let's see if I can okay apparently this let's try let's not try the the deep the deep socket. That's for the, the the two that are down inside. Is it just me, or did they use a something bigger than a than ten millimeter? Hold on a sec. I'll be back. All right. I managed to get the ten bolt in. She was just protesting on me and not wanting to go in because she's been working all day. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and get the, the rest of this out. All right, for the next bolt that's way down in there, I'm going to take an, a, a double extensions along with my deep socket and just fish it down in there until you finally reach it. Then these, these bolts will literally are the easiest when you when you get them removed. After that, you can simply fish your hand in there, find the bolt. It's a good idea to get to attempt to do it this way. That way, when the bolt falls out, it won't fall down into inside your door panel. Once you get them out, you can set them aside. Now there's one more. One more. 10 millimeter bolt that's way up there that I'm going to have to reach back in there and get it with my socket just me I'll have to cut away for this all right now once you got that back bolt loose you just simply I'm loosen it by hand and make sure you don't lose it and out that comes and now that all your bolts are out you simply take you can simply get to the rods that hold on your door handle 
And there's a second one right here. This one goes to the lock actuator. And get the, these guys loose. Okay, now this old door handle's out. Now what I'm gonna have to show you next is a little method to get this, this rod piece off and onto the new door handle with the new lock cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, now to get this off, I'm gonna have to have to get a better camera angle. This would have been much better if I'd just fetched my GoPro, but you're gonna wanna pry up this metal piece right there. I'm gonna have to pry it up a little bit more. Okay, turns out what I end up having to do was pry that little metal clip and slide it forward. That way you can get your your rod out for your lock. And then just simply transfer it to the new door handle to make sure to make sure this guy is mounted on the inside. That's the way that these things are mounted on. Oh, I almost forgot something. Also make sure your rod is bent outwards and not inwards. That way, if, if you did that way, it would make contact with the plastic right there. So anyway, now that that's done, we're just going to put this new guy in its place. Just, just, just slide your rods in. Pull the lock tab down, and let's go ahead and do this upper pin. Like that. Fish this clip around, and onto the handle. Push those down. While that rests right in place, it's simply a reverse process of the way you took everything off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll get back to you by the time everything's done. Well, everybody, this project is pretty well complete. And there's how she looks on the driver's side. There's the passenger side. All brand new door handles. I'm. I'm now thinking since I got these on one of these days in the near future, I want to put, make this part of the mirror red. I actually do have the paintable pieces. I just neglected to paint them and put them on. But, and now the only thing left to do is test the function of the doors. There's my new door lock. That's unlock. And that's lock. See, now I'm using a 90 style GM key to unlock the door. Of course, we know the big key with the Chevy emblem starts the truck. I mean, there's that. There she is over there. All right, another thing you want to do, since you were obviously removing the door handle and such, you're going to want to test the locks. See if they lock and unlock. That works. I know the interior door handle wasn't affected, but it's always nice to have those work. All right. Now I'm going to roll all the windows down and attempt to put them back up. I don't recommend doing this, but it's just to make sure I didn't jam anything in the lock actuators. 
And that's that went down too. And now, all up. Some of the window actuators are getting pretty slow, but that's all right. This is an old truck anyway, but that project is good as complete. So I hope you enjoyed my little door handle upgrade. Please ignore my little neighbor in the background doing weed eating. And don't forget, don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.